you know, it was in the home, it was in the workplace, it was in the streets. There was really a lot of fear and a lot of tensions. As a 12 year old, you just accept that that is how it is. So you don't question it. I seen kids throwing stones and bottles. And I thought, Lord, all the size of them. Do they realize what's going on? Do they realize if bigger people came here, the consequences of it? Somebody shot some more child or some child going for a bottle of milk could lost their life because of this. I felt very frightened and nervous, uh, and I felt, you know, am I a fool for putting myself out? And I just thought, I'm not, I'm not having it. I'm not having my life, my neighbours' lives, or their houses being put at risk. Simple as. I had to get involved some way. I maybe felt unsure that what I was doing was the right way, but I, ha I had to do something. As a result of um, my name being um, in the press, I got a, a lot of phone calls. And there were phone calls I couldn't cope with. The language was horrible. Uh, just saying what they'd do with me if I went ahead with uh, these meetings. So many girls upset comes to your door and said, somebody's gonna shoot my daddy. What would you do? What would anybody do? 